students in the last lecture we had learned about the working and the various attributes in regards of a centrifugal compressor so in this lecture we will learn that how to make the velocity triangles for a centrifugal compressor so first we will refresh us by just recalling what a centrifugal compressor is and how it works see centrifugal compressor is a device which in case it is an air compressor i am talking about an air compressor centrifugal compressor is a device which takes the air from atmosphere and by the help of addition of work to the air it raises the pressure of air as the name itself is suggesting that it is used to raise the pressure of air and technically it takes low enthalpy air and then by addition of work done in the air it increases the enthalpy it essentially consist of two main parts those are the rotor also called as impeller this is the rotor i am showing by the help of cursor and this is the casing okay and casing itself consist of few more components those are the nozzle which is the first part of the casing through which the air enters and inside the casing there could be a diffuser and ultimately a volute is there so i am talking about the general parts general attributes in regards of this construction of a centrifugal compressor so what happens that this rotor or impeller which consists of vanes you can see is assembled with this casing so you can see this rotor is sitting inside this casing so what happens that when this rotor rotates inside this casing then the air which is trapped between the vanes of this rotor that also rotates okay so it develops a centrifugal force on that air so air rushes in radial direction toward the peripheral end of this centrifugal compressor that is the volute so ultimately in the volute high pressure air is collected so from a corresponding point that high pressure air is taken out for use and since this is a steady flow operation means continuously the air is coming out so to clear that vacancy from atmosphere fresh air goes inside this is how a centrifugal compressor works so the name is centrifugal compressor because when the air rotates when the gas rotates inside the casing then due to rotation it develops a centrifugal force that centrifugal force is responsible to increase the pressure of air and to force it toward the volute it is like this okay now we will learn how to construct the velocity triangles of a centrifugal compressor velocity triangles are in regards of the graphical representation of the velocity of air in connection with the velocity of the rotor at inlet and exit the tangential velocity of rotor when the rotor rotates then over various points there is a tangential velocity because we know this thing that any body rotates then at various points there is associated a tangential velocity with it similarly so like same that velocity triangle is the graphical representation of the velocity of air in connection with the tangential velocity of rotor at inlet and outlet so first of all we will talk about the velocity triangle of inlet imagine that this is the rotor which is rotating inside the casing and suppose it is rotating in anti clockwise direction as it is appearing in this screen so this exterior tip this is the vane see this is the vane of the impeller so this first part what happens when air enters inside through this nozzle the first part of this vane impeller vane is called as the inducer also called as inducer tip okay and this is the final part means air goes and rises in radial direction so this is the exterior tip of the impeller vane it is like this okay in case rotor is rotating in anti clockwise direction so this exterior tip is going inside the screen so same will be there with the inducer tip it is also going inside the screen like this suppose the velocity of inducer tip the tangential velocity of inducer tip which is going inside the screen in anti clockwise direction is u1 okay and ca is the velocity of air since air is entering inside in axial direction what is axial direction this hub is the axis of this rotor so the air is moving parallel to the direction of this hub 
so air is going inside in an axial direction suppose the velocity of air is ca and velocity of this inducer tip tensile velocity is u1 so ca is the velocity of air for some stationary reference but for the blade tip this inducer tip the velocity would be u1 plus ca means for this inducer tip the air would appear to come like that of this resultant velocity that is vector ua plus ca it is better understood by this diagram also suppose this is the hub and this is the impeller vane this is the red color impeller vane and this is the first most part which is the inducer okay and air is going inside the screen it is like this this entire system is rotating about its axis and this is the inducer tip and the tangential velocity of inducer is say u1 and it is moving in anti clockwise direction now air is going inside the screen suppose the velocity of air is ca so it is like this ca is the velocity of air which is going inside the screen and u1 is the tangential velocity of inducer tip so for inducer tip the air would appear to come as like that of this resultant velocity cr it is same as suppose rain is falling in vertically downward direction okay so in case a person is stationary then how the rain would appear that it is falling in vertically downward direction now in case the person starts moving then the person would feel that rain is the rain drops are coming making an angle with the vertical direction and that angle would depend upon the velocity of rain falling in downward direction as well as velocity of person who is moving in horizontal direction okay so same thing over here since inducer is moving with velocity u1 you can see with tangential velocity and uh, the air is moving in axial direction that is ca so for this inducer tip the resultant velocity of air would be cr it is like this so vector ab corresponds to the velocity vector of air ca and vector cv corresponds to velocity vector uh, tangential velocity vector of this inducer tip that is u1 so the relative velocity vector means the velocity of air with respect to this moving inducer tip would be u1 plus ca that is equals to vector cr ca is the velocity of air but with some stationary reference and cr is the velocity of air with respect to this moving inducer tip that's it now let's talk about the exterior velocity triangle okay so we will first of all take the case of that the vanes are radial radial vanes means that the vanes are oriented in radial direction we know this thing that there are three types of vanes in a centrifugal compressor those are the radial vanes you can see that the vanes are oriented along the radius of the rotor and forward vanes forward vanes means that the exterior tip in case the rotor is rotating in clockwise direction then the exterior tip is inclined toward the clockwise direction okay and backward vanes means in case the rotor is rotating clockwise direction then the exterior tip of the vane is inclined in the anti clockwise direction okay so these three types of vanes are there in regards of the impeller of a centrifugal compression okay now coming back to the point suppose the case of impeller which is having radial vanes okay now to make the exterior velocity triangle i am taking this cart with jet coming out analogy this is a cart cart means which, which can move this is the top view of a cart it it has wheels you can see four wheels and it has a nozzle through which a jet of water is coming out water or any fluid like this okay what happens suppose the cart is stationary not moving and a jet of water is emanating from this nozzle okay so so same thing we will consider for this rotor imagine that air is coming out through this exterior tip of the impeller with velocity cv and uh, the rotor is stationary it is not moving same as this cart is not moving okay so from this uh, nozzle the fluid is coming out with velocity cv and for this impeller the air is also coming out with velocity cv it is like this now imagine that cart starts moving toward right in that case what would happen see when it is not moving then water is coming out with velocity cv but when it starts moving then the water will come out with velocity vector cr the reason is that now 
when the water will emanate from this nozzle then it has it has the horizontal velocity component also which is equal to the velocity of this cart it could be understood like this suppose some water is coming out since cart is moving with velocity u so that amount of fluid also has velocity u so ultimately that amount of fluid has the velocity in vertical direction as well as horizontal direction so the resultant velocity would be this u vector u plus vector cv same thing will be there that in case this rotor this radial impeller when it starts rotating then through the exterior tip the fluid is coming out velocity cv but this exterior tip has a tangential velocity also so same like that of this cart analogy the jet coming out from this cart analogy like same the exterior tip is moving with velocity u in tangential direction and the fluid is also emanating in radial direction so the resultant velocity would be cr so this is the velocity triangle over the exit for the case of radial vanes okay in case the impeller is not rotating then the fluid will come out with radial velocity that is equals to cv but in case it starts rotating then that tangential velocity is also added so result resultant velocity vector would be vector cr now imagine another case that the impeller has forward vanes okay now again suppose this cart has a nozzle but it is inclined toward right okay and the cart is not moving same the impeller is also not rotating okay now the cart is not moving and the jet is coming out through this nozzle and this nozzle is inclined toward the right hand side so in this case even though the cart is stationary the jet is coming out with velocity vector c but it has two components now that is the horizontal component like this and cv is a vertical component got it because already the nozzle is inclined so it has two component same thing over here suppose the this impeller is stationary in this case if fluid is coming out then it is coming out with velocity c and it has two components ch that is tangential component and cv it is a radial component now imagine this cart starts moving now what would happen ch horizontal component it already has but since it starts moving with velocity u so this jet would have horizontal component ch plus u because u amount of velocity is more added in horizontal direction but since this cart has no movement in vertical direction like this as i am showing with arrow so this cv remains the same so the resultant velocity vector of the jet which is coming out from this nozzle would be vector ch plus vector u plus vector cv so this vector ab corresponds to resultant velocity vector which is equals to cr now this ab equals to what vector ch plus vector u plus cv we can keep the u like this also means instead of keeping this velocity vector after ch in case i am keeping it behind ch then it would be like this still the context is same that is equals to the resultant velocity vector cr is equals to vector u plus vector ch plus vector cv over here also the resultant vector velocity vector ab is vector ch plus vector u plus cv same thing there is no change only what we have done that this vector u is behind the ch so velocity triangle remains the same that is equals to vector u plus vector ch plus vector cv same thing that in case this forward curved impeller this forward vanes starts rotating in clockwise direction then ch tangential component it already has suppose the exterior tip has velocity u2 okay in that case the resultant velocity vector would be u2 plus ch plus cv c c is the velocity vector of fluid emanating from the exterior tip of this impeller vane so it already has even it is in case it is stationary then it has two components ch and cv cv is a radial component ch is a tangential component okay but in case it starts rotating then u2 is the velocity vector tangential velocity vector of this exterior tip of forward vane so in this case the resultant velocity vector would be vector u plus ch plus cv that is equals to cr now imagine the case in which the nozzle is inclined toward left hand side again taking the cart so in that case suppose the jet is coming out then the two components would be ch in horizontal direction but in negative the direction is negative and cv is the vertical component it is like this 
ओके सेम थिंग इन केस दिस इज अ बैकवर्ड कर्ड कर्ड वेन टाइप ऑफ इम्पेलर सो इन केस दिस इज नॉट रोटेटिंग देन फ्रॉम द एक्सटीरियर टिप द फ्लूड इज कमिंग आउट विद वेलासिटी सी इट हैज टू कंपोनेंट्स दैट इज सी एच एंड सी वी सी एच इज द टेंशियल कंपोनेंट एंड सी वी इज द रेडियल कंपोनेंट ना इन केस दिस कार्ट स्टार्ट मूविंग विद वेलासिटी यू टू टू आर्ट राइट हैंड साइड सो वट हैपन्स दैट सी एच इज द वेलासिटी ऑफ फ्लूड इन नेगेटिव ऑरिजेंटल डायरेक्शन एंड दिस यू टू दिस रेड कलर्ड वैक्टर यू टू is the velocity vector of this cart itself which is due to this cart is moving in positive horizontal direction so the resultant vector would be by this time we have to subtract because ch is opposite the direction of ch is opposite to that of u2 so the resultant vector in horizontal direction would be vector ad minus bd means u2 minus ch that would be vector ab but cv would remain same because the cart has no motion in vertically positive or negative direction so cv would remain same so the resultant velocity vector of the jet which is coming out would be vector ab resultant vector in horizontal direction and vector be that is the resultant vector in vertical direction so cr is the resultant velocity vector in case the cart starts moving with the velocity u2 in horizontal direction and the fluid is coming out from the jet through a nozzle which is inclined toward left hand side so same case would be there for this backward curved vanes c c is the velocity vector of the air coming out from the exterior tip even though when the blade is not moving at all so it already has a tangential component ch and cv okay in case the blade is not moving now in case it starts moving with velocity u2 suppose the exter exterior velocity exterior tangential velocity is u2 then the resultant tangential velocity of the fluid at the exit would be total vector u2 minus ch because both are in opposite direction so this u2 minus ch plus cv that is equals to cr so resultant velocity vector at the exit of backward vane type of impeller would be cr that is equals to vector u2 minus ch plus cv same like that of this moving cart analogy u2 is the uh, horizontal velocity of the moving part to a right hand side and ch is the horizontal component of the velocity of fluid which is coming out from this nozzle but in negative direction and u2 is in positive direction so we have to subtract by this time okay for forward curved vanes we have added but over here we have to subtract so hope you would so hope you would have understood all the three types of velocity triangles for a centrifugal compressor remember for the case of inlet okay for the case of inlet the inducer tip is always radial means this very small length of inducer tip is generally radial so for all these three types of impeller vanes the inlet velocity triangle would remain same okay thanks